Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah, salatu ve selamu ala Resulullah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem ecma'in. Allahümme enfa'ni bima allemteni ve allimni bima yanfa'ni ve zidni ilman inneke l'alimul hakim. Allahümme akhirjna min zulumatil vahm ve akrimna bi nuril fahm ve ifte aleyna bi ma'rifetil ilim ve sahil akhlaqana bil hilm. Amin ve ecma'in. Allahümme azıqni ni'metel ikhlas li vajhika kerim. This is the third part of the of the normal chest anatomy, and I will talk about the mediastinal structures. The mediastinum is the central compartment of the thoracic cavity, as we see here in the image. This is the mediastinum and uh, it contains the heart, esophagus, great vessels, trachea, uh, nerves, phrenic nerve, vagus nerve, sympathetic chain, thymus, and hilar structures. The heart is the main visible structure in the mediastinum. Some of the mediastinal structures are not visible on the chest X-ray, like esophagus, great vessels, thymus in adult, and other structures. And assisting, assisting of the mediastinal contours on the chest X-ray help in identifying some of the important disease like abnormal contour in the aortic knuckle or descending aorta or abnormal aorta pulmonary window or right vara tracheal stripe. As we see here, this is the trachea. The trachea branches at the carina to the left main bronchus and right main bronchus and the at the level of the T5 and the trachea it should be central or slightly to the right side at the level of the aortic knuckle. High level structure each hilum contain major bronchi and pulmonary vessels. High level lymph nodes are not visible unless it is abnormal. And this is the left hilum. This is the left hilum here. It is commonly higher than the right hilum. And each hilar point, this is the hilar point here and the right hilar point here. It is the angle formed where the upper and lower pulmonary vessels meet. So this is the left hilar point, and this is the right hilar point, and this is the right upper vessels, lower vessels where they meet. It is the hilar point. They are useful points, a reference to determine the position of the hilum. Not every patient has a clearly defined hilar point on both sides. As we see here, this is the normal lung vascular pattern has the following features. Arteries and veins it branches branching vertically to the upper and lower lobes. The upper lobe vessels have a smaller diameter than the lower lobe vessels on the erect chest X-ray. As we see here, above this line, this is the upper lobe vessels and lower lobe vessels. The lower lobe vessels are larger than the upper lobe vessels. And the reverse, it is in the patient with some disease like pulmonary hypertension. 
deoxygenated blood blue ours as we see here is bumped upwards out of the right ventricle via the main pulmonary artery main pulmonary artery as we see here and the main pulmonary artery divide into the left and right pulmonary artery which passes into the lungs via the hyla the left pulmonary artery hooks back walls over the left main bronchus and the right pulmonary artery passes anterior to the right main bronchus. This is these important notes. And these are many questions of MCQ question are related to these two statements. Please keep it in mind. The left pulmonary artery backwards over the left main bronchus and the right pulmonary artery passes anterior to the right main bronchus. Our technical here, and this is the left main bronchus, and this is the descending aorta. The aortic knuckle represent the left lateral edge of the aorta as it arch backward over the left main bronchus. The contour of the descending thoracic aorta can be seen in continuation from the aortic knuckle Displacement or loss of definition of the contour can indicate some disease like aneurysm or adjacent lung consolidation or spine abnormalities. And we will discuss this in detail when we reach the mediastinum evaluation, abnormal mediastinal evaluation. The normal aortopulmonary window, this is the aortopulmonary window here. This is the aortic knuckle, and this is the left pulmonary artery. And uh, in between, this is the aortopulmonary window. The aortopulmonary window is located between the aortic knuckle and the left pulmonary artery. And it is a space where abnormal enlargement of mediastinal lymph node can be seen on the chest X-ray. As you see here, the margin, the margin here, it is a concave. Once it is a convex, it is abnormal. And keep it in mind, there is some pathology in that area, whether lymph node enlargement or mass lesion. And we will see multiple examples in the following discussion on the mediastinum. A right paratracheal stripe, as we see here, it is extended from the clavicle, as we see here, it is to the azygous vein on the right side, and it is seen thin white line or stripe. And the stripe is created by air of low density lying either side of the comparatively dense white trachea wall. So the here the tra uh, la, uh, gas and the gas and the, tra the tracheal stripe is a white line. Thickening of the paratracheal stripe less than three millimeter, this is the normal three millimeter, may represent pathology like paratracheal mass or enlarged lymph node. The left, barat, left side of the trachea is not so well defined because of the portion of the aortic knuckle and the great vessels here. The heart size is assessed as a cardiothoracic ratio. 
the cardiothoracic ratio of more than 50% is abnormal. As we see here, the left margin of the heart, right margin of the heart, vertical line here, vertical line, and this is the transverse, and this is the inner side, the transverse, and should be less than 50%. And the left hemidiaphragm should visible behind should be visible behind the heart. And the hemidiaphragm contours don't represent the lower lowest the, the lowest portion of, of the lung. As we said previously, the lungs are seen on the are seen below the diaphragm. As we see here in this patient, we see bronchovascular marking through the right diaphragm, below the right diaphragm, and below even the right left hemi diaphragm. Cardiac size is measured by drawing, as we said, vertical parallel lines down the most lateral points of the heart and measuring between them. Thoracic width is measured by drawing vertical parallel lines, as we see here, down the inner aspect of the widest point of the rib cage and measured between them. And the ratio can then be calculated. This is the cardiothoracic ratio, vertical line, vertical line, and vertical line of the inner aspect of the thoracic cage, and it should be less than 50%. Normal cardiac contours, the left cardiac contour, as we see here, it is, the, uh, it is in the red line, in the red line, representing the left ventricle. And here, this is the left arterial appendage. And the right side, it is the right arterium. And here, this is the superior vena cava and the right arterial appendage. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu lak. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in the next lecture.